KYA Rebels. My name is Kathy Castelli, and this is my tryout for your vlog. There are three reasons why you should consider me as a member of YA Rebels. The first is that I'm a high school media specialist, and so I have 180 school days a year where I work with the people who read the books that you write. It's a wonderful job, and I love being able to discuss the books with the students. The second reason is that I am a member of the Florida Teen Reads Committee. I read between 80 to 100 books a year that are current books, and from that list we choose 15 books to promote in high schools all across the state of Florida. Now as a part of my job on that committee, I have a blog which is at www.kathycastelli.blogspot.com and I will blog about the books that I'm loving for that list. Um, what I'd like to do as a part of YA Rebels is to do book talks for my weekly contribution and I'll do one today. And the third reason why you need to consider me as a part of the YA Rebels team is because I'm also a writer. I have one completed manuscript. It's an edgy, realistic fiction book uh, about a young man named Chris who gets um, in trouble for sexting. The title's called Blowing It. And I'm in the middle of the querying process. I also love to read books about the writing craft. Um, Bird by Bird's one of my favorites by Anne Lamott. So I could contribute in that way as well. Now let me give you a little sample of a book talk. Dark Song is Gail Giles latest book. Uh, I love Gail Giles. I love everything that she's written. What Happened to Cass McBride was on the Teen Reads list a couple of years ago, and that is our go-to book for the reluctant reader because once they start reading it, they can't stop. I'm thinking Dark Song is going to be one of those books too. And one of the things I love about this cover for Dark Song is that it has a look like maybe it's a paranormal book. And so for those students who don't want to um, read anything but paranormal, they'll pick it up and then I think they'll be hooked. It's the story of Ames Ford. Ames is 15. She seems to have this perfect life, happy family, even though her mother's a little controlling, perfect life. But then after Christmas, things get weird. Her dad stops going to work. They don't know what's going on. Finally, Dad says, oh, it's okay, I was downsized, they let me go, but I have a generous severance package, don't worry. But then, a few days later, her cell phone's taken away. Her mother sells the grand piano. She's selling paintings. She's selling jewelry, just to put food on the table. Then they find out the truth. Dad was involved in fraud, almost went to jail, and pretty much they've lost everything that they have. In an ultimate betrayal, her father gambles away the money that her mother got for selling the piano and the paintings and all their precious possessions. And so she has to endure the humiliation of a garage sale where not even her little sister gets to keep her teddy bears. They pile everything in the car. They move to Texas to live in a slum. It's really disgusting. But there does seem to be one bright spot in Texas and that is Mark, older, mysterious Mark, who seems to be the only person who's really interested in what's good for her. Too intrigued? Gonna have to read the rest to find out. Thanks, YA Rebels.